Give me a pencil. The 6A now. Six A that one. Uh. Okay, yeah. good. Okay, first thing first. This 20 is the height of what? This 20 is the height of what? Height of? The front. Here, right? It's in, it's, the, the 20 is inside, right? Yeah. So it's the height of the? The pyramid. Okay, so height of the pyramid. Okay. And then now you need to find the left, right, back, front, right? So left means the left, left uh, triangle. La. So this is the left. Let's say you are looking at this. Right? Okay? So the left, the height, is it 20? Of the triangle, is it 20? No. Yeah, it's not. The height is here. For the triangle. How do you find the height of the triangle? You need to use Pythagoras theorem. What's this? Half of 15 is 7.5. This is 20, right? So you just take it out. 20, 7 by 5. That's how you get the height of the left. Okay? Left and right is the same. Then what about front? What about the front? The front is this one, right? Right? Yeah. The height is here, right? Yes. Right? So, in a way, the height of the triangle is formed by giving this one is half of 12 right yeah. so it's 6 this one is 20 so you need to take out again this will give you the this height of the triangle okay the front and the back is the same so you need to do this one for the surface area. So next time when you see the height, right, you need to quickly write down height of what? <coughs> you see, you are in normal academic, uh, your, I don't know why, your school... Is it easy because, the, I mean, these three chapters are not supposed to be covered? I'm not sure. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. So funny, it's in... Red color. No, that it should be covered because this is a normal academic book. You very funny. You don't. You can't even find your A. Then how you study? How you do revision? I wonder how you do revision. In some more, I, I ask. see people. Yeah lah, that's your problem. When you, when you see paper, your revision is not comprehensive enough. You need to draw two right angle triangle, two right angle triangle up. The left, the left, left triangle, you need to draw one to get the height of the left. The front, you need to get the, another one to get the height of the front. <coughs>
Can you see my phone? Can do it now. <coughs> Tell now, they tell me the height of the left triangle. I'm doing the left triangle. Yeah, lah. So what's the height of the left triangle? There is this, this. Oh, you are doing okay. What's the okay? What, then have you have you found the front one? How do you get the point nine? Eight. Eight. Ask how. I focus on the how. You don't tell me the answer. I don't need the answer. No, that's not the answer. Never mind how. Tell me how. Uh, the twenty point nine is the. No, you tell me how. Um, I put the twenty. Uh huh. Twenty square mm -hmm. plus the six square mm -hmm. plus the c square. Yeah. Then four hundred plus mm -hmm. thirty six. Mm -hmm. Then you square root. Yeah, yeah. So what's the answer? Twenty point nine. Yeah. So that will be this, this right, this one right. Let me choose a different color. Huh? Yeah. So that's the the height. This one. Okay. Right? The height of the front. So now you need to do the the height of the left, which is here. Okay? You can also see from here. Man. If a word is too messy, then you use your pencil just to zoom in, you know.
Okay. How do you, how? I, I care about how. Okay, then now, now find out the area of left, front, right, and left. Okay, so this is square. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. 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 Mm hmm.
No, no I ask anything in between or not? No. No, ah. So, don't really consider. So, basically, they, you, you just, they, they write here for you to see there is a... You understand me or not? This yeah. whole thing, they actually, they melt. They are um, melted together. So, you, in fact, they, they, they just let you see there is a circle shape inside, but actually there is no circle. You understand me? Yeah. Ah, so, how do you find the surface... That this surface area of a cone area I mean the formula pi r l. l which one is the l uh. slanted this is the l so how do you find the l hmm. yeah which one is the a square how like? Right? Yeah, like how like? Uh, fifteen. Uh huh. Square. Mm hmm. Plus. Uh huh. 10. So yeah, so actually you should take this out. You should take this out. Okay, so fifteen square, ten square, then you get an answer, right? Mm. This is C square. You get an answer. Then after that, you square root this answer. Did you do this? For your surface, yes or no? No. No. Then, then what have you done? Then, if you never do this, then I'm talking about surface area now. Are you doing surface area or you are doing something else? Then mm -hmm. you redo. So you redo for the. I'm talking about surface area, okay? Don't, 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 don't confuse yourself with uh, volume. We'll talk about volume later. Hmm. So, so what is the surface area of the cone pi i l? Or you you have just finished l? How do you get l? Uh, a squared plus mm -hmm. b squared plus c squared. Mm, okay.
so how do you get pi r l uh, mm, so pi is pi la yeah r is then mm, and l is what's the value of l Mm, okay, so that will give you the area of the cone, right? Yeah. Surface area of the cone. Now, how do you find the surface area of the hemisphere? Take uh, mm. the 4 pi r squared. Yeah, 4 pi r squared and divide by 2. Correct. And uh, so that will be uh, 4 pi r divided by 2. r is 10, right? Yeah. Okay, so you just add these two up there with the surface area. Okay. By the way, this one looks like a cone, uh, looks like an ice cream cone. Okay. You have an ice cream? Yeah. Yeah, then they give you one scoop. Okay? Of course, the, the scoop, actually the, the scoop of uh, ice cream is a ball, but somehow the ball sink in. Uh. The half of the, the ball is actually uh, uh, masked by the, by the cone. Only the half of the, 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 the scoop is exposed. Okay? So, similarly. Okay? So, if you go, uh, if you go, uh, I'm not sure if you go out to uh, some... Uh, some let's say you go to the SP group for uh, paying your electricity bill, or you go to some government government offices, right? Actually, uh, they have some uh, uh, water dispenser, okay? And then sometimes they give you the uh, the the, the styrofoam cups. Sometimes they give you the paper cup, and the paper cup is in this this. A cone shape. Mm. Okay. okay. Or maybe you go to your general office. They have the water dispenser. Then I don't know. So for 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 guests or for for visitors, I don't know whether they offer you the paper cup or they give you the styrofoam cup. So next time, if you can get um, so what I need you to do next time, uh, if you go out or you go somewhere, if you see these are called solids. If you see shapes of Cone, pyramid, uh, hemisphere. If you can grab them, just grab one and then you get to feel it. Once you feel it, so next time it's easier for me to explain to you. Okay? So it's just like, like this cylinder. So now if I ask you for the side, a a side area, how do you get the side area? Leng length times breadth, right? And the length is given by? The circumference. Of the, the circle. circle, right? Then the breadth is the height, right? Okay, so that's why I want you to get the, if you go out, if you can see the, the all this solid, then you should bring them. And then, so, in fact, we, so let's give you a summary. So we have talked about surface area and volume of solids. Okay. Cuboid, no need to talk about already, you should know. Cube, you should know. Right? Then cylinder. Right? Then pyramid. What else? Oh, hemisphere, I consider it a globe. Huh? Mm -hmm. Or oh, sphere. Hemisphere is just half, right? What else? Prism. What else? Um. Can I suggest you go and buy a, buy a Tobolo? Eat and then don't throw away the the packaging. Okay. Can can you afford to buy a top or not? Yeah. Okay. So don't buy so many. You just need one. Just one. Then two two dollar plus or something. Just buy one and then don't don't throw away the, the the packaging. And when you open, please open carefully because I don't want you to destroy the the, the, the packaging. Okay, I want you to bring it and then fill it next time. You know this is a tobo room, right? Yeah. Okay, so what else? Besides the prism, what else? Pyramid. Okay, done. Cone. 
right? Do you know you can actually you can actually do a cone yourself? Huh? You just need to use a piece of paper. Oh yeah, actually you can go home and try to do it. So you you do a piece of paper and the paper should be uh, you need to use a round okay, I have it here. I'll show you. This is what Dolly paper. I don't know what it's Dolly. You like the underline, no? I think it's uh, a. Mm. Oh, to decorate what? To decorate what? I don't. I don't know whether. Oh, for cupcakes and stuff. So, this is a circle, right? So in order to get a cone, right? You cut it. Show you. Then your understanding of cone will be much better. Okay, you need to find the center first. Try la, try, try, try. Okay. Then after that you get a get a cut away this much. Okay? Can you see you have a cone already? Yeah. Can you see you have a cone already? Of course if you cut you you, you cut uh you cut less your cone will be taller la. So now this is your cone. Okay? So next time right in a way right they will they will say this one then they will say Actually, they will start with a circle. They actually you find the area of the circle. Then you say pi r square, right? Then after they say, hey, part of the circle is cut, right? Such that you fold it, you will get a cone. Then they ask you to find the surface area of the cone, which is pi r l, right? Right? If you want to look at that one, look at this one, which is pi r l, right? Which one is the l? Yes. This one is the L. Can you see this one is the L? This one is also the L. This one is also the L. So next time they might they might not label this for you. Eh. So the L is actually the in this case uh, Can you see the L is actually the yeah. radius of the circle? In this case, in this case. Okay. Then if the L is the radius of this circle, yeah, the area of the cone is pi R L, right? The L in this case, the L uh, is the radius of this circle, right? Right? Then this radius is what? How is this radius different from this radius or are they the same radius? Is this R the same as this? Yes. Wrong. You see that's the thing. This radius is the radius of this circle this one okay and this R is the radius of which circle give me a blank piece of paper <coughs> yeah good okay, yeah. go don't 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 do it don't do it So this L is the radius of this circle. Can you help me press the, the tip? Okay. Hold on. Don't move on. Okay, good. Go. Lift, 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 lift it up, please. 
Okay? And the R, the R, the pi R L, the R is the radius here. And you compare, you open up, open this up. The L is the radius of this circle. Okay? But once you fold it, you let it stand. You let it stand. Okay? The radius is given by here. That means can you see that you form a circle here? Can you see you also form a circle here? Just now you open. This is a bigger circle. Yeah. Now you need to fold it. Can you see? Okay, you fold it. Uh. Yeah. Just now it's big. This is the big circle. Yeah. Without folding. But now once you fold it, right? Can you see that your circle actually shrink? Yeah. And it shrink to this circle. That's why I ask you to try to outline. So once we outline, the R is actually this R. And the L is open up. So the L is the radius of the original paper circle. Okay? And the radius R is the after you fold, you try to do it. Okay? Can see or not? It's that radius. So you have two radius, but these two radius are different radius. One is the radius of the original paper circle. Right? The other one is the radius of the Okay? Then the pi is the pi. Right? You understand now? You understand? So if if I if, if they give you this one, this 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 one, which is the radius of the original circle, but let's say I tell you this one. Uh, it's 10 cm. Okay? Then after that you fold, uh, after that you fold. You fold, right? You fold? You put it down. Can you see that from the tip of this until here, you will form. This is ten, right? Can you see? This is ten. Just look at it this way. This is ten, right? This is ten. Yeah. And then from the tip of here, go to the go to the this paper. Can you see that there is a height here? Mm. I think you can measure. You just use your ruler measure from the tip of this until here. So let's say this five. Can you see? This is the Pythagoras theorem to get the radius here. Can you see? Yeah. So therefore, this is your a square. This is your b square. This is your c square. Can you help me find what is the radius of this thing now? It's all right. It should be because this is your c square. So you need to use ten square minus the pi square. Square root. So how much? Please lock. You give me whole number ten. Yeah. Set in nine, right? Nine. Okay. So therefore, the radius is nine. Four here. Does it make sense? Does it make sense? Yeah. Mm. If you, you can see, man, eh? If you put parking side by side, this is your ten, right? Then from the tip to here is. Five. So that so then is then is is good for you to find the radius here, right? Okay. So with this, you can find the volume of this thing. Already. Volume is one third pi r square times h, right? Right. So your r is nine, right? Right. Yeah. The H is five. I think you can find the volume from from the original. Um, where's the original piece of paper? Yeah. So from this piece of paper. Actually, the more narrow you cut, the more narrow you cut. Okay, let me just get the same. You can go home and try to play with it. The more narrow you cut, you will get a 
a corner of dollar you get a dollar code okay It cannot and must be. So in a way it also must be uh, big enough. If it's not big enough, it cannot form a it cannot form a cone. Right yeah, I think this is the max one. Try to cut more. Uh, I'm also experimenting by the way. I also don't know. I'm also experimenting. Ah, seems like the more you cut out, the taller the cone. Can you see? But of course, your 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 cone is taller, but the the the, the circle here is smaller, lah. Okay. Can can you can you hold it for me to compare? Yeah. Can it? Yeah. If I put it, yeah. Can you see? Just put it down. So can you see if this is a ten, right? Can you see the area is much bigger? And my this is really smaller. Okay? But much taller, right? Okay? So that's the the thing for the cone. Okay? So I hope for today's lesson we have learned how to find the surface area and volume of all this solid already. So like I say if you go out if you go out uh from today onwards, if you see any of this solid, please grab and then we talk about it. I need you to I need you to get prism. Okay? If you see some interesting shape, uh, you can also bring it. Okay? We discuss. So I need you to get prism, I need you to get a sphere, I need you to get a cone, I need you to get a pyramid, I need get cylinder no need, cylinder have. Cube and cuba no need. We have this these two we know since P5. Right? So I need you to get the new 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 shapes. Hey ma, ball I think I have the ball is there. Okay, I need to get get the uh, cone and then prism and then pyramid. Okay, you go out like you go out, you see the the the, the block or the Lego block. Huh? You see, just bring a few. Okay, no need to buy lah. Just uh, you happen to see, then you just. I so these days if I have I go out, I happen to see something like that, then I can also uh, see if I. If it's cheap enough, I'll just buy one dollar something. Okay? Can? So hopefully um, you have a better understanding.